again welcome to uh morning prayer from uh, mill lane in wedmore and it's not a bad morning after that early morning rain but um we remember today uh, nicholas ridley and you latimer who were martyrs in 1555 uh, these good men were burnt at the stake for their beliefs, honesty, and following the uh, the true path. They spent many years locked in the tower, and they were uh, executed on the instructions of Queen Mary. So we keep those in our prayers there uh, today. So it's not a bad Friday morning. It's a little bit of rain earlier, but it's been uh, it's been not been a, it's been a pretty great week. So. Uh, it might be getting colder, but uh, certainly for me, the um, the colours of autumn always bring a bit of a, a smile to my face and I always think it's a beautiful month. I'm thinking of playing conkers and etc. because you're never too uh, old to be doing that. I hope everybody's well and they're keeping positive during this uh, very difficult and sad times. Hopefully we'll see the light at the end of the tunnel at some stage. And, uh, and let's just hope for more fine weather next week and some more good news around the corner. So a big hello to those who are watching this now and also to those who are uh, watching later in the day. As always, if there's something you would like me to pray for during the morning prayer, feel free to put that in the chat box and I will do my best to remember those in the intercessions. And as I light uh, a candle to signal the beginning of morning and prayer, let's have a little moment of silence and reflection before we begin. Let us pray. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Now we turn now to the uh, Psalm of the Week, which is number 90. As I say, if you don't have a Bible at hand, it should be on the, um, the page, on the Facebook page. Just a few words. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Prayer of Moses, the man of God. Lord, you have been our dwelling place through all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, Return to dust, you mortals. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. Yet you sweep people away in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning. In the morning it springs up new, but by evening it is dry and withered. We are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. All our days pass away under your wrath. We finish our years with a moan. Our days may come to 70 years or 80 <clears throat> if our strength endures. Yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. 
If only we knew the power of your anger, your wrath is as great as the fear that is your due. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Relent, Lord, how long will it be? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, for as many years as we see in trouble. May your deeds be shown to your servant, your splendour of the children. May the favour of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Just before we continue, say so welcome to uh, Venetia and Mary and Sarah Fisher and Susie. It's good that you could join us this morning. The reading this morning is taken from Acts 28, verses 1 to 16. It's uh, Paul ashore on Malta. Once safely on shore, we found out that the island was called Malta. The islander shows unusual kindness. They built a fire and welcomed us all because it was raining and cold. Paul gathered a pile of brushwood and as he put it on the fire, a viper driven by the heat, out by the heat fastened itself on his hand. When the islanders saw the snake hanging from his hand, they said to each other, this man must be a murderer. Although he escaped from the sea, the goddess Justice has not allowed him to live. But Paul shook, shook the snake off into the fire and suffered no ill effects. The people expected him to swell up or suddenly fall dead. But after waiting a long time and seeing nothing unusual happen to him, they changed their minds and said he was God. There was a state nearby that belonged to Publius the chief official of the island. He welcomed us to his home and showed us generous hospitality for three days. His father was sick in bed, suffering from fever and dysentery. Paul went in to see him and after prayer, placed his hands on him and healed him. When this has happened, the rest of the sick on the island came and were cured. They honored us in many ways and when we were ready to sail, they furnished us with the supplies we needed. And now we look at Paul's arrival at Rome. After three months, we put out to sea in a ship that had wintered in the island. It was an Alexandrian ship with the figurehead of the twin gods Castor and Pollux. We put in at Syracuse and stayed there three days. From there, we set sail and arrived at Regium. The next day, the south wind came up and on the following day, we reached Putol. There we found some brothers and sisters who invited us to spend a week with them. And as we came to Rome, the brothers and sisters there had heard that we were coming. And they travelled as far as the Forum of Appius and the three taverns to meet us. For the sight of these people, Paul thanked God and was encouraged. When he got to Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with a soldier to guard him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now some prayers. So let us pray. God, you have given all peoples a com common origin. It is your will that they be gathered together as one family in yourself. Fill the hearts of humankind with fire of your love and with the desire to ensure justice for all. By sharing the good things you gave us, may we secure an equality for all. Our brothers and sisters throughout the world, may there be an end to division, strife and war. May there be a dawning of a truly human society built on love and peace. We ask this in your name. 
Um, Grant this, Lord God, a vision of your world as your love would have it, a world where the weak are protected and none go hungry or poor, a world where the riches of creation are shared and everyone can enjoy them, a world where different races and cultures live in harmony and mutual respect, a world where peace is built with justice and justice is guided by love. Give us the inspiration and courage to build it through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Almighty God, you're a God of justice and righteousness. The prophet Amos says, may justice roll down like a river and righteousness like an ever failing stream. We pray for the justice system in our country across the world and across the world. May judges, legislators and the law enforcement work with community leaders and solicitors to end oppression and exploitation, together bringing justice, not just to our village of Wedmore, but all across Somerset and in the troubled areas of our nations like Liverpool and Manchester and across the North East. And for public officials and those in law enforcement that the Holy Spirit grant them the gifts of wisdom, understanding and humility in the exercise of their duties as they strive to serve the common good especially at this time that they work with compassion and fairness in the ever-changing rules under COVID. And help us to provide support and act responsibly. This is the word of the Lord. Hear our prayer. Obviously, the EPMC were meeting last weekend and across on the internet, through Zoom, etc. So we ask for the help of the leaders and workers of the PMC, especially within our own benefits. Give them the strength to deliver your work and help your church grow in fellowship and love, and that we may deliver your kingdom here in this benefit and across the diocese, the world. Shower us with your blessings, dear Lord. Especially the many work we're doing within the benefits to help the isolated and the lonely. Let them hold them in our hearts and daily prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Especially at this time we think about our health service, which is coming under increasing stress. We just hope that whoever work there can keep the strength going and believe in you. Create a God who knits each person together in their mother's womb, it is you who reveal knowledge to scientists and doctors. We thank you for the heritage of medical breakthrough, expertise and welfare we enjoy in our nation, freely available here because of your revelation and the faithfulness, especially of the previous generations. Renew thanksgiving our hearts for what we've received because of others' work and sacrifice. Healer of nations, you provide insight to all who seek you and defend those in need. We thank you for the gift of the health service in our nation. Free to develop everyone, no matter what their background is, income level or need. Especially give our wisdom to our governments, health professionals and advisors as they seek the right reforms. Bless our health service to thrive, to prosper and to heal. Bless our doctors and nurses to care, to excel and to bring healing. Bless our nation to understand thank and honour those who seek to bring us health, for everything that is good comes from you. We start, we think of those who are now hurting, lonely, frightened or anxious, those in need of care. We pray for a new system, a government in our land that puts people first and provides care simply and easily to those who need it. We pray for a fair and straightforward system who doesn't discriminate by location or favour only those who can understand its complexity. Lord Jesus, who healed the sick and gave them new life, be with the doctors, nurses and carers as they act as agents of your healing touch in desperate times. Keep them strong yet loving. And when the work is done, be with them in the weariness and their tears. 
when you think of the health workers within the Cheddar Valley across Somerset, just keep them strong in this very, very strange time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Remembering our prayers this morning, all members of our churches and the benefits. Give them all your love and encouragement, especially those on the fringe of our churches. Guide us to bring them to you. And this is a special prayer for, uh, for some members of St Mary's Congregation. As we think of uh, Brian and Rini Blackburn, as they are once together in, in a nursing home, which they've been separated for quite a while, following Rini's fall a few months ago. Also give support to our leadership type team as they plan Remembrance, Christmas and the Living Advent window. We ask you to care and protect all those who are facing an uncertain future also following redundancy or anxious about whether they will have a job tomorrow or next month or next week. Let them hear you talk and that you're always thinking of them and keep them in our prayers. And especially in this area where certainly within Cheddar there's been lots of job losses. And we also think of other people who are not just ourselves and also those who are suffering from COVID and worried about what, what happens next. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the collect of the day. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us your gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to that which was before. We may run away with the way of your com commandments and win the crown of everlasting joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, our taught, our, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let's bless, bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, I hope uh, we all have a pleasant day and uh, last couple of uh, People say hello to morning, Angie, and morning to you, Suzanne. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. We do have a rather splendid view across the Cheddar Valley from where we are, so uh, it's very easy to take it for granted, but uh, it certainly brightens my morning, and especially nice when we're doing morning prayer, sitting in the uh, conservatory. So it just leaves me to wish you a lovely day and hope you have a great weekend, and more importantly, stay safe. Make sure you just keep the faith. God bless.